Welcome back to Ozarks Live. We love to spotlight a special artist each month, and this month's feature is Laura Inglesby. Laura, how are you? I'm good. How are you all doing? We're good. Right. Okay, so tell us a little bit about um, your artistry and how long you've been doing art. Um, so my artistry is kind of anything that tickles my fancy. I've okay. been doing art for like 30 years now. Wow, so do you use a lot of different mediums then? I do, I do. This is actually like my, I brought my ink series here today. Oh. You uh -huh. know, so, but I also paint in oils, acrylics. What's your favorite? Or do you oh, have one? I don't know that just I have one. Just whatever you feel one. like that day. Yeah, <laughs> it's real, I mean, yeah, I think that an artist's brain is really, you know, just kind of. Yeah. yeah. Let me I see love what's, it. I yeah, love this. Right. It's pretty. This is pretty. Let's yeah. make this. You know, and like well, if it's a sculpture, we're gonna do that. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. 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 That's I really love the special. creativity there. So yeah. tell us about what you brought today. Um, so these are the, actually the last four of an uh, an ink series that I did. These are all ink on canvas, all ocean wave. You know, inspired. I'm a water baby. I yeah. Love, no, when you say I love, ink, I mean, are you talking about every color in here is it from ink? Correct. How do yeah. you, how do you do that? So, like, I mean, I'm picturing like a pen, you know? So no, no, like, no. So this is like ink in its pure form. Uh -huh. um, the inks that I use are alcohol ink, and okay. um, oh. they're mixed with uh, pure alcohol. And I create, you know, I lay the background down first by, you know, just kind of making a big mess mm -hmm. and letting it dry. So do they? And then I come in with a brush and easily? start. They do vary. Do they blend with each other and stuff like that? So yeah, you? they a little bit. Um, yeah, some of some of the creation that happens in the background, okay. you know, is done that way. And then the rest of it, if I don't like it, I come in with a brush and I paint it. And then the waves are all done with a brush, and then the detail work is all done uh, like pen and ink style. Yeah, so. yeah, that's so special. Now, tell me this, so you, you mentioned that some of your inspiration comes from obviously water and the ocean. Mm -hmm. Does that tend to be a common inspiration for you or what other like areas of your life do you find interest from? I, I mean, from? really inspiration comes, I think at anywhere. I did a painting one time, it was an abstract based on a dress that I saw. This oh. lady was walking by and I saw, and it was like this beautiful blue dress with like these orange floral bits on it. And I was yeah. like, I'm painting that. And it wasn't about the that design. Mm -hmm. Right. It was those colors. Mm -hmm. And so like inspiration uh -huh. just kind of hits me whenever. Yeah. So do you like name them? Are they do they have So they're all like named. All of these pieces were named uh, based off of emotions. Oh. So when I was doing this series, I did uh, 11 large pieces. Um, and each one of them it was like, how was I feeling that day? What did I do? You know, Happy mistakes and accidents happen, and, and you know, it's so kind of yeah. isn't it? it like, is definitely. Get that out. Oh, I think that yeah, all artists. That's the you know when they can find that creative sure. piece, like uh -huh. they're definitely putting heart, soul, emotion, all of it into mm -hmm. into their work. Yeah, so. I love that. So now, what are the names? Uh, well, this one is splendid. This one is forlorn. I can't even remember this one. Uh -huh. that's, that's, right. okay. that's okay. And then that one is. Uh, that's all right. Something I stormy asked you that off the day. It's fine. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'm you sure you have a lot create, of work. To I was gonna say, of. like, when you create a lot of them, yeah. and I was thinking about that too. I was like, you know, maybe I should remember the names. No, <laughs> it's okay. But nope. Yeah. Then, yeah. Well, well tell me this. So you've obviously made like a huge stamp on this the Springfield art scene. I know you're involved with some of the local galleries. So tell me a little bit about that. Oh, so I actually uh, co-own a gallery downtown uh, and an art studio downtown. Uh, it's formed an artist collective. My business partner Grace and I. We own Formed and Forming. Okay. We're playing off of words there. <laughs> sure. So our studios are called Forming, and then our gallery is called Formed. Uh, we participate in First Friday Art Walk. Mm. Uh, we've got currently 45 local artists and then wow. seven artists in residence. So that's super cool. What's sure. your address there? So we're at 210 East Walnut Street. You can find us. We're open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. And then Sundays, we're open from 10 until 2. So nice little brunch yeah. with dailies uh, and then pop on perfect. over and yeah. shop for some art. And if yeah. people want more from your personal artwork, where can they go to do that? So they can find me on social media. Uh, it's at Waxing Moon Collective. Okay. Um, you can find me at waxingmooncollective.com. You could also find me on formedgallery.com yeah. just because that's where that's I'm where at. It is. Yeah. It's the easiest way to find me. I am always there. All right, Laura, <laughs> thank you so much for being work. here. Thank you yeah. so much. I really appreciate it.